Hi there, everybody. It's Kathy here, and welcome to this live stream this evening. Um, I wanted to just do a quick live stream tonight on because I had a I had a central client uh, call me up and ask a question, which was about how she put so much energy into into her business. She'd invested with all kinds of business coaches and healers and um, all kinds of systems and processes. And she still wasn't making any headway in her business. She was, um, she kept bumping into the glass wall. And on, um, like as we were chatting and I would make suggestions, she would kept, she would keep saying, yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. And it, and it really reminded me of when I used to do that myself. And, um, it's so frustrating to know the spiritual kind of like uh, procedures and mindset and um, to know how you're creating it and to know that you're, you're, you're the creator of everything that's going on and still not be able to shift it. So I kind of wanted to talk about that because I, I'm sure lots of people can go through this. It's not, it's not just me and this lady. So three reasons that you might be stopping yourself um, from making these um, finding success it's more about finding success in in um, in your business or your work or um, it could be in relationships it could be any, in anything re really but um, just for example looking at money issues and things not moving forwards fast enough it could be like although you might have been to all the programs and done the coaching and done lots of workshops and things it may have been that all of this knowledge has gone in at a hub level so you know it but maybe they didn't uh, help you kind of go into what some of the deeper programs and patterns are and help you actually release them um, that could be what's going on or it could be that you've um, you're not consistently doing the energy practices. Doing energy work isn't just about going to a workshop or doing a program and then stopping. It's something, it's like as important as cleaning your teeth every day. You have to be consistent. It's what will raise your vibration all the time. And you know, it keeps you sort of on an even, more on an even keel. So when life, the, um, you know, the shit hits the fan in different, areas of life or you know it's never smooth sailing there's always ups and downs but doing energy work consistently it helps you um just clear it out of the way it helps you find balance much more easily it helps you find that inner peace and calm whilst everything else is going on so it could be that you're not doing the, the practice consistently it's just not enough to read it and to know it. You've got to be it, act it, um, and be totally committed to it. It's, uh, it's, it's a journey, it's a lifestyle. So that's one thing. The next is, it's never about the money. It, money's just energy. It's just, um, and, and you're not separate from money. You're, because everything is energy. So therefore you're not separate from money or from what it can buy. It, you are essentially at the level of source, at, the, at your true self. You're infinitely connected to the, the universe and source energy. It's who you are. The vibe, um, abundance and the flow of abundance and the flow of money is your birthright. It's what you're designed to receive. So it's only your patterns that are in the way of it. There's something within you that has uh, got in there that says that, that is blocking it. Um, and usually it's something around uh, like money. We use money as a really good excuse for not living our mission. We tell ourselves, oh, I can't invest in X, Y, Z because I don't have the money. Or I can't go and do uh, work with this person who could help me really achieve my dreams because I don't have the money. Or I can't pay for these uh, this software or this new computer or this new car or whatever it is that would help you move forward to really be living your mission to be uh, much more visible standing out standing up for what you believe in if you're not um if you're not if you're telling yourself i can't 
Um, hi, Inga. Hi, Debbie. If you if you're telling yourself that you can't be um, Sorry, got a complete blank there. If you're telling yourself that you can't be doing, um, you've got all these excuses because you don't have the money, then it's so easy to stay stuck, isn't it? It's, you know, I know that I've been there. I've told, and then of course, like you're telling yourself, I don't have the money, I can't do it. So you're reinforcing it. So that's one of the things that will happen. But when you look underneath it, it's usually because you're terrified of your mission. Like, it's so scary to step into that and to be this talented, rich, successful person claiming your worth, making a bigger difference, actually being seen, standing up. Um, you know, we've, it's more that we have fears of success uh, than fears of, you know, being rejected and uh, or judged on all of those things. But of course, they're there too. So there's all these different uh things that are hidden within our psyche within our, our patterns that stop us from kind of stepping up and doing our mission so it's not the money that's usually a um uh just a smoke screen and but we're so focused and fixated on on the money and we it, that it becomes such a big block to us living our um what we're here to do what we're born to do um if you're particularly stuck, you can, from, from people that I've been talking to and clients, they tend to have the biggest blocks when they've got the biggest missions. So because it is such a, you know, it's like something that would totally, potentially set the world on fire, what they're here to do. There's so many people being, um, who were born to live big lives that are going to make such a difference in the world. And to really own that is, that's a big deal. So Inga's saying, I've noticed that I come back to practice only when I'm facing the obstacles. Yeah, and we need to be doing these practices all the time. So um, thanks for owning that. I know, and I've done this as well. When things have been, you know, cruisy and easy, I've noticed that my daily meditation drops off. Um, but when, and when I, in fact, though, when I'm in a good space, and I do pick it up and do it on a daily basis, things get even like better than they ever had. It's like you've got even more energy to um, create the life that you want. It's not just about managing the, the stuck and difficult times. Um, a, a third reason that you might um, be stopping yourself is this unconscious kind of avoidance of, uh, there's like the small self that we're not normally aware of. It's afraid of feeling the discomfort that it perceives will accompany taking action or you know, doing what it takes to make those changes that you want, stepping up, being visible, speaking your truth. Um, you know, and so it, it sabotages you by kind of speaking into your ear all these other words of, oh, that path over there is much better suited to, to you. This one doesn't feel good. Um, let's go and find something different. And it, it has all of this stuff that comes, that, that speaks into your head, convinces you that it's speaking the truth. And, um, and it's just rubbish. It's, it's a lie. It's part of the small self. It wants to keep you small. It wants to keep you in that safe space. And this is, this is usually, um, you know, it's a really big one that stops us moving forward. But there are some ways to sort of catch, uh, catch yourself when this is happening. When, when you're in sabotage mode, but you don't really kind of, you're not really aware of it. If you catch yourself saying, yeah, I know that, that's such a good sign that something is, is kind of like tripping you up. Particularly if you get irritated when someone tells you the same stuff that you know, uh, and they're telling, you've been asking for their advice and, um, they tell you all the, the words that you've heard 10 times before and it frustrates you and it presses your buttons. This is a really good sign that you're not doing the work. Um, if your buttons get pressed and you get triggered by it and it makes you a bit angry or irritated, this is uh, the, the time to kind of go off, spend some time with yourself, 
and just feel into that irritation, feel into well, what was it that they said that has triggered me. And usually it will, by giving it space, it will bubble up into your awareness. You'll be able to feel what the truth of it was because the truth, as they say, always hurts, but it shows you where the pattern is as well. And once you've seen what the truth is, then you can let go the lie or you can make a different choice. You can um, choose to make it, take a different action regardless of what the your head is saying to you. Um, and you can ask yourself, uh, this is a powerful question that I asked myself when I was really hitting the wall with money stuff. I've, my friend, she was doing this question asking to me and I was getting so angry with her. I just ended up having to like go off and take a moment and uh, just get, we were out on a walk and um, I just had to go away and, and clear my head and think, what is going on? This, um, yes, I was getting so wound up. And then um, she asked me, look, if it, if it was not about the money, what would it be? And that opened the door really to a, a big awareness of, um, I found, uh, and things unfolded over a few months, over the last year really, of different things I found. First of all, it was about fear of overwhelm. If I became, uh, if I became really successful and lots of people wanted to, wanted a piece of me or you know I didn't even know what that looked like that I felt like um, also that I would have to work loads more hours than I was doing and I didn't want to do that either so that was one of my blocks was fear of overwhelm that I just wouldn't be able to cope uh, another one was fear of rejection you know if I stood up and became this person that was visible speaking about energy speaking about spiritual practices and principles um would people accept me would they tell me who do you think you are for standing up and teaching <laughs> lots of people know this you're not speaking very clearly oh, all of this had stuff was going on you know so it's fear of rejection and judgment and then the last one that came up was if I it was like a, a bigger, deeper, old, old story that told me that I just wasn't, uh, I couldn't, it, it, was, it was about not claiming my space. I didn't have the right to claim space. And this just came from very, very old, deep, and lots of stuff to do with kind of like being bullied at school and all that stuff and, and earlier. Um, and it, I had to clear a whole lot of that rubbish that was connected to not it it not being safe to be present not being okay with um what i'm actually born here to do that i am good at what i do that i make these um that i you know I, i'm good at translating i might i'm losing my voice a little bit here but um or like my path a bit here but i'm really good at translating spiritual stuff and helping people understand it and translate it into their own life and and um feel where they're sticking and be able to then release it through connecting to their greatness through their infinite self so i had to own who i am and what i can do and what i'm here and born to do so this was um this is what helped me clear that last pattern and i'm sure more and more of it will come up as you know it, it always comes up in, in layers but you know if you can ask yourself these deep questions another question is if i didn't have any fear what would i do and you know part of your head would kind of like leap in and just go well yes i'd be really successful i'd be i'd have loads of money i'd have this this and this lifestyle but if you feel into it kind of at a deeper level and ask your soul if you kind of like meditate with the question rather than just answer from a head level you'll get a different answer you'll get more of the um, things that are in the way of you stepping into that so have a go at some of those um one of the that learn and the last one really is about learning all the sneaky ways that your small self will talk to you learn about the language that it uses and the the kind of energy that 
um, it, it feels like to be coming from the small self because it's much different from coming from your true self, from your infinite self. Infinite self feels so much more expansive, lighter, uh, more possible. Um, often it feels quite scary, but there's a sort of sponginess in terms of like moving through a block. Whereas something, when you're coming from the small self, it just feels like that you're hitting a wall, it feels contracted, it feels like there's no energy. There's all kinds of different um, qualities that the two different thought systems have. So I'd love to know if, if um, you've had these kind of experiences yourself. If, what, what do you do to kind of move through those blocks when you've had um, you, that voice in your head going, oh, I know this, why is still nothing changing? What have you done to move through it? Or are you still stuck? Is there something that I can help with tonight? Do please put your questions or comments in, in the box. Or if you're catching the replay, do the same. I'll get back to you. If you've got anything that you need help with, I'm quite happy to answer. And um, other than that, I've got a, um, I've just created a, a freebie that you're very welcome to download which is about how to stop making decisions based on fear and to live from your infinite self and it's got a, um, a I've created a chart in it which will it talks all about the qualities of the small self and all the qualities of the infinite self and how to recognize where you're coming from at any given moment so it can help you then be very conscious that oh okay that I was, you know, if you're trying to make a decision uh, moving forwards, um, it will help you know whether the decision you're making is coming from thoughts that are based in your infinite self and that's aligned with your path, or thoughts that are coming from your small, contracted self that just wants to keep you stuck and small. So, if you'd like that, then um, I will pop the details in the um, description box below and uh, pop them up. Uh, do pop your questions in. I'll get back to you with anything that you're struggling with. But that's it for me for tonight, and I'll see you next time. Bye.